Hey guys, the Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is Tap Titans 2 Part 177, and I have some absolutely wonderful news. We aren't in a tournament. But as you guys can see in the top left hand corner here, we are in an event. This is absolutely crazy. Normally, the events take anywhere from like a week to two weeks to actually kick back in. Because uh, as you guys know, we just ended the last event not too long ago. Uh, it would have been last the last day to join the to, or to, you know participate in the event would have been like last week um so i don't understand why we're in not even last week what am i saying sorry the last tournament which was just on tuesday so i don't know why we're in an event already it's absolutely awesome that we barely had any downtime but it really caught me by surprise and what i would have done is i wouldn't have claimed my tournament rewards because as you guys know, I got first place, so I would have 300 Firestone advantage over like everyone else. But I'm just happy we're in the fire or in the tournament. I am really, really or the event. Sorry, I'm really excited. We got three equipment pieces here, and as you guys know, I already had to buy the event pass. We already got one more equipment piece and a legendary one. I guess that's what it meant by the legendary sword, though. That's insane. So let's go and take a look at our new equipment pieces here. This is going to be a helmet primary boost which we're not actually going to use, uh, but it is actually a lot better than this one. So we'll go ahead and sell that old piece, sell the rest of these, and take a look at that. Okay, perfect. So we are already off to a really good start here. We're going to go ahead and prestige getting also 10 Firestones. And as you guys know, this is going to be the very first tournament that I've ever, uh, you know, done what's called that I've been in a shadow clone build. So this is going to be absolutely awesome to get to see how quick my run times actually are not i guess my run times but how quickly uh how, how easily i can farm up firestones now with a shadow clone build because before we were doing it fairly well uh not to toot my own horn or anything we were doing it fairly well before but the run times were just taking too long that i couldn't do it i, I would get to my mac or you know just below my max age as soon as i could prestige it i would get my firestones but that was 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes now we've cut a run down time run times down to 18 to 19 minutes so this should be absolutely insane I mean, we should be getting a third more firestones just from prestiging and we are planning on doing a 12 hour live stream at this event we hit the sub goal on twitch so we are going to be doing a 12 hour live stream at this event i wasn't expecting it to happen this early like the event to kick off this early so i'm not sure exactly what day we're going to be doing it but like i said we are going to be doing it this event and i'm really really excited i really enjoyed the last 12 hour live stream a lot of you guys came in and said hi which is awesome uh, but i'm really excited to do it again let's go ahead and take a look we have a lot of things to get through here we got two pets uh we got scraps cosmos we also have a bunch of clan mail and that is because everyone's been buying the season pass we've already got 90 diamonds there um, and i'm sure more people will be buying them the season pass so we'll have to go ahead and keep collecting them currently at 872 diamonds which isn't a lot but you guys know that we spent a ton yesterday so just try to kind of recoup some of those again it's so nice to see that we're getting firestones from the daily rewards again so we got day 13 reward is going to be a uh, skill point there i do want to take a look at my skill tree actually i know a lot of you guys probably want to see it as well but a lot of questions about my skill tree if we take a look here so we currently have spent 1508 sorry 1000 yeah 1518 skill points um on our shadow clone build so this is a, a shadow clone phom as our gold source i didn't go with fairy because but previously i mean you have one to two weeks without any you know without any skippable ads so really to get gold i'd have to watch a 30 second ad and that's just not something i wanted to do but maybe i'm hoping now from now on there won't be any tournament downtime because basically i think we had one day where i actually had to watch ads which is not a big deal and i think it was yesterday because um two days ago we still the tournament was ending so we still had our vip pass and today we could buy it again which is awesome so we may even have to switch to a fairy build let me know what you guys think of that down below in the comments should we switch to a fairy build uh and, instead of our phom i do like our phom but i think fairy you guys have said is a little bit better uh we're also a push build so we're not a farming build if we were a farming build i think that would be cool to try a shadow clone farming and fairy build maybe we go ahead and switch our skill tree this tournament leave a comment down below if i guys if i should do this on stream like i did last time uh but a fairy sounds really interesting and doing a farming build for firestone sounds really interesting as well so let me know what you guys think of that uh but we can go ahead and i don't there's nothing we can really upgrade i don't remember what the next one is we did the last 
Uh, we did the last deadly focus, so we got that up to 14. So I don't know what else we need to do, to be honest with you. But we'll go ahead and collect some of this stuff. I honestly, it just feels like I'm in tournament mode right now. I'm so excited to play this game, and I really want to play it. And I normally only feel that way during tournaments, which is... But that's awesome that I feel this way during the event. But I am going to probably play a decent amount off camera tonight. Uh, probably getting us a couple hundred firestones, I'm hoping. Uh, from you know anywhere from the daily rewards we need to go and collect from the raid attacks from prestigious so we already right off the bat got 10 crafting shards there awesome we got three eggs and this is probably going to be the event I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be the very first event where we actually get top 30 percent because now that we're in a shadow clone and i do kind of want to try out a farming build uh where basically i could possibly have you know 15 minute run times which would be insane uh, so if we could manage to pull that off i think that would be absolutely awesome uh you know just to farm some fire stones i think i really really want to try that so we may have to do that uh this time in this event let's go do we're gonna do some raid event or raid uh, attacks here but let's go and do our daily achievements what else do we need to do? upgrade one artifact that is a-okay i'm gonna go ahead and do an upgrade on book of shadows here if we take a look uh 59 this should last time i think we got it to up to 78 so if we take a look 81% so I'll probably do a couple more runs get it to 95% plus and then do some more runs after that just banking relics because as you guys saw we can do a uh, enchantment as soon as the tournament goes live so I probably will be doing that as well as hopefully getting a second one if we need to I'm trying to play a little bit more conservatively because there isn't going to be much content coming up here um because as you guys know eventually you enchant with artifacts and eventually you you know get all of um all of the heroes unlocked and upgraded we're a little ways away from that but you know what i mean eventually you unlock all these things so i only want to really enchant or do things like that if i absolutely have to because someone did say that it increases your potential max stage so you're being put in uh to stronger tournaments so that really makes me want to play a little bit more conservatively and not upgrade whenever i can and upgrade whenever i need to uh, so hopefully we can hold on to this enchantment and we may not even need to enchant this tournament because I do tend to play a decent amount now that I'm live streaming every day or every day on the tournament. I do tend to play a decent amount and I don't normally need to push that entire time. Lots of times I'll have, you know, big breaks and things like that where people just aren't pushing and I'm normally playing more than other people. Uh, but we did a rate attack here, 1.51 million damage there. That is absolutely awesome to see. Uh, now we just really need to work on getting our other ones to 1 million plus. That would be absolutely awesome if we can get all of our other decks to a million plus damage. That'd be absolutely insane. I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead and take a look at the shop here. We do have 827 diamonds. Like I said, I don't want to spend all of them because I really do want to start saving them for the tournament because it isn't too far away. But let's go ahead and start with the video chest here. Let's see what we can get from this one five diamonds i think that's actually the minimum amount of damage you could possibly get we have no nova for all damage we got ground hero damage which is above level 100 okay fairy gold fairy gold this i do want to buy because like i said we may possibly be switching to a fairy build um during this tournament during this event in general i will be doing it but possibly during the next tournament so that is a good one to go ahead and get right off the bat range hero damage Oh, this is going to get Taffy to 100, level 100, so 100% 100 passive. So, you know, we got to do that. And that is also a slash primary boost. So, that is another really good one to get. I'll leave the other three because, like I said, I do want to leave a little bit of, you know, diamonds on the table, a little bit of diamonds left in our stash before we join the tournament to give us a little bit of an edge. But I really don't think pet levels play a huge part in it. Uh, you know, the, the tournament's all based on your potential max stage, but I really don't think pets are a huge part. And I say that because when I join tournaments with other people, there is times, like last tournament, someone had over 10,000 pet levels. There's over 7,000 pet levels more than I did, and we were in the exact same tournament. So that really didn't affect his potential max stage, I guess. Uh, so really, pet levels probably aren't a big concern, to be honest with you. So I'll buy the ones that I really like right now. Then at a tournament, I'll probably just end up buying all of them like I was doing before. But I really want to make sure we're spending our diamonds wisely and not on every single pet. Now, because we're getting close to every pet level 100. Wow, really close to 1 million damage. We do one more upgrade. And I bet you we can get it all to a million. That'd be insane. Uh, but as I was saying, sorry. As I was saying before I got distracted is, you know, I do want to start getting all of our pets or continue to try to get all of our pets to level 100. But I really want to make sure we're buying pets that are going to be useful. 
um you know now that we're shadow clone build i really want to make sure we're getting those tap damage pets uh and hopefully we are switching to a fairy build a little bit later on so i want to go ahead and get uh those fairy pets things like that like i want to start thinking ahead because right now or you know previously i've just been thinking about now oh i can afford a new enchantment buy the enchantment or i can afford another you know a couple more pets buy the pets i was never really thinking about the future and you guys have really changed my mind on that there's been a lot of people that come into the stream uh dank lord is one of them and he says like oh okay i can't get this enchantment but i'm not gonna hold off right now because i don't need it or all this stuff and i'm like really whenever i got an enchantment i was just like oh, i'll enchant it but he's really changed my mind on that uh we can't afford enchantment like you guys saw but it really wouldn't it would have helped me but i was already winning the tournament so why would i enchant it if i don't need it to win the tournament why would i use it like i said eventually we're gonna run out of enchantments to go ahead and get and things like that so i really want to conserve all that extra power until i absolutely need it because these tournaments are going to start getting difficult and going to start being more about time played rather than how many enchantments can you unlock because we are going to have we're all of us in the tournament are going to have all of them or it's going to be more about like how many prestiges can you do like how far can you push your max stage and basically it comes down to play time because eventually you get all of the heroes and you've done all the upgrades and you've got all the enchantments it's basically about farming some relics and getting some good pushes in so I'm really starting to look, you know, in the future and see what I need to be doing now to help myself in the future. So if you guys have any tips for late game or anything like that, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And as well as, like I said before, let me know what you guys think of switching to a fairy farm build. Basically the complete opposite of what I am right now. I'm a PHOM push build. Let me know what you guys think of that down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's. Peace out.